Okay, let's say in exam, this is one of the common exam questions, so please listen to this question very carefully. You want to find equation of circle, given that we know that it passed through three points. Okay, these three points here, we know. Make sure you know how to do this. It's come out in exam several times. It consists of 15 easy marks. I've met students who doesn't memorize the way, and they'll do these 15 easy marks. Okay, ready? Let's begin. Let's say you start with this, given a circle pass through these three points. Ah, I'm faster this time. Negative three, and this one is negative one. Find its equation. How should we start? Which equation should we start? We got three equations. Uh, we, got, we got two equations, standard and general. Which one should we use? Standard or general? I would recommend general because we do not know the radius. Understand? We don't use standard because standard has a radius. So we go with general. You might argue, sir, but general we have C, sir. Well, C is not as bad as radius there. And if you start with standard, we also need to expand. Well, general is already expanded. You okay? And then what do I do from here is I substitute all those three points. I substitute the points and I expand them out. Yeah, no, no, you're not going to be as fast as me this time. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. First time, check good. Sir Rodi is faster. Now, let's just listen first. Okay, all right? So, what I do right now? What do I do? I substitute those three points. Those three points given here, I just substitute all three of them. And what the most important equation right now is these three. One, two, and three. Are you okay with that? And how many equations, how many unknowns do I have right now? Three equations and three unknowns, GFC. GFC, GFC. Right? I wish I can also rewrite the whole thing as this. Are you okay with it? I just substitute and I got this one. One, two, three. Three equations we do not know. G, F, C. And do take note, I transfer my, my equations to the negative 130. I don't make it equal to zero. Not equals to zero. Are you okay? There are multiple ways on solving. Either three equations, three unknowns. Yes, you can do simultaneous equation multiple times. And hopefully you get the right answer. 15 marks. It's a long equation. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Can you see it? Oh. Alright, take your calculator. Switch them on. Alright, so firstly go to mode. Ready? Can I have your attention? Alright, the one who doesn't get the answer, finally you need to blanja me ice cream Oreo. You need to take me for ice cream Oreo. Okay, press it. And find equation. Okay, black calculator plus three times you get equation. Silver calculator, you can see equation over there. Okay, so press equation. For black calculator, you choose unknown three. So press three. For silver calculator, you choose the one with the DN over there. Can you see? So you press two. Black calculator, you got A1. Silver calculator, you got something like matrices. Okay, so A1 is which one? 18. So 18 equal. And let me show this one first. So negative 14 equal. C, 1 equal. And D, negative 130. All right, so that's why we need to move our D to to the right side. Okay, and then repeat the same things for others. Negative 6, negative 2, 
1, negative 10, 12, 4, 1, negative 40. Okay? And press equal once you're done. Wait, 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 wait. For silver, for silver, it's quite easy over there, you can see. 18, negative 14, 1, and suddenly you got D. Can you see that? You got D. Silver. Once you press 3, you got D. Can you see? So D is negative 130. Okay, so silver, there's A, B, C, and D is hidden once you have typed it down. So negative 6, negative 2. Am I too fast? Okay, good, good. 1, negative 10, 12, 4, 1, negative 40. Once you have finished everything for silver calculator, press equal. And we got ourselves right now, x equals to negative 3, y4, z negative 20. Are you okay with it? So, wait, wait. This moment here, I would not recommend you to use your calculator. Just write it down as x is what? G. X is G. So, G is negative 3. So, Y is F. 4. And C is negative 20. The examiner wants to see this, not X, Y, Z. Understand? Not X, Y, Z. Okay? Once you reach here, are we done? What does the, what does the question want? Find its equation. We got this equation, right? So substitute inside. So, so, we're almost there, we're almost there. X squared plus Y squared. Okay, negative 3 becomes negative 6x, okay? 4 becomes plus 8y. And c becomes negative 20 equals to 0. Ta-da! 15 marks in my hand. Okay, is there any risk of doing such a way, sir? There is one big risk. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you a few things. If you go to exam in this way, Okay, if you go to exams, you see this question, you need to show your working until here. You show your working until here. This one is optional, I just write this line so that you, you can see them. Like this one is not necessary. Show this thing and show this thing. You get full marks. If, if this one is correct. You will get full mark in exams if your final equation is correct. Okay? If your equation is correct, it's wrong, you will only got around five marks. Or maybe just three. So how are we going to avoid that scenario, sir? Press your calculator correctly. <laughs> oh yes, uh, should we use simultaneous equation for these three, sir? Should we use simultaneous for these three? Well, I've, I've done it several times and the chances of careless mistake is very high. And it, it really takes your time, around 20 to 30 minutes. Or you can just be quick, be very careful and solve it around 10 to 15 minutes. Okay? So I would recommend for you to use your calculator in this case, in scenario. Okay, I think that's all for today. Thank you very much for listening.